Hi, Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into it, Sag. Thank you, God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so um, let's see what's going on this week. The Seven of Wands. Okay. Um, and uh, the advice is the Two of Wands. Okay. The outcome, you got two cards coming out from the outcome. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Um, okay, so this week, the Seven of Wands here is like, you may be getting a lot of attention, okay? You got to fight people off with a stick, okay? Um, everybody's interested in you. Everybody's pulling you in a different direction. It's like a destructive influence. Like people, you know, they don't care about what you're trying to construct for yourself. And it can even just be peace, peace and quiet. You don't want to be bothered. Um, or it. It could just be you, um, out hard working on a masterpiece, or it could just be, um, that you just, you don't want to engage. Um, some pe people have seen your newfound, you know, um, success and now everybody's after you, um, or you put yourself out there and now everybody's after you, um, or you go out and now everybody's after you. Something about people being after you people want you for different things different reasons um and maybe you having to set health healthy boundaries here with the seven of wands it's like somebody is very destructive in terms of um how they come in they come in like a wrecking ball they want the attention on them that somebody's doing a lot to get your attention and then to maintain your attention this could be in a love relationship business friendship whatever um but it seems as if you're still kind of warding it off. The two of wands says that uh, you're at a crossroads in your life. It's like you're a little bit, um, you feel stuck or stagnant in terms of the decision you made, the path you chose to walk down. You could be looking at a relationship and, you know, um, you could be saying this relationship is very rocky. It's not been easy. It's not been a, a smooth sailing. It's been turbulent. It's been up and down. This person does not uh, trust me. I don't trust them. I'm not 100% committed or I don't want to be or vice versa. This is what someone is saying. Some of you could feel like you, cho you, you chose wrongly. You made the wrong decision here. The two of wands can even talk about making... Make sure you make the right decision because the wrong decision can lead to um, a karmic connection or karma. You having to learn a lesson, work something out, work it off, unravel yourself out of something. So it's like right now you can feel like you're trying to unravel yourself or untangle yourself out of a situation. And it's like an energetic pull. If this person is not right by you, right next to you or they're not easily accessible. It seems as if somebody is in your energy field or your energy space or they're in your mind or they're in your heart. It's hard to untangle yourself, unravel. You have two you have two options here. It's either, you know, you could be single or be committed, or you have two options in terms of two different people. Um, you like these two different people for two different reasons. One's very fun, out, you know, adventurous, spontaneous, maybe even younger, you know, um, unlearned. And then the other one is sophisticated, safe, moral, upright, a wife, a husband. I don't know. You could, you're dealing with somebody, you know, in that, in that mind space where they have to decide what path they're going to take. And this could be you. Uh, sad. That's the advice there. The outcome is the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So it's like um, th there's a really good choice in terms of um, maybe a person, an option. The Queen of Pentacles, it talks about going into more of a committed state of a relationship 
there's a strong desire for somebody to become a mother, be a mother, to be in a wifely role, wifely duties. And somebody wants that. But it's also but it's coupled with the King of Wands. So it's like typically the King of Wands is already married. Though this is the the king that he can be married, but he can come off as single. He does what he wants to do. Some of you have a choice of a past person that could just be about resources, money, luxury, um, material things. Some of you are about longevity, movement, fun, adventure, being open, passionate about something. It's like you and somebody else are not seeing eye to eye anymore. And it could be somebody that you've been with for, a, a, you know, a good while or somebody that you've been dating for a while. Somebody else that you're dating could feel this way too, especially if somebody has another option. They could feel like there's nothing that we have in common outside of, I'm seeing children here. So maybe somebody has a child or nothing that we have in common outside of, we grew up together, we have roots together. Um you from the old neighborhood or um, something about connecting backwards. Some of you also have somebody here who is a good catch and you need to connect backwards with them. You may have made the wrong decision in the two of wands to where you chose the karmic partner. And now you want to connect backwards, maybe with the mother of your child or children. Somebody's making it hard to see their the children. Somebody's taking a, a real hard, firm stance in what they believe, even if it's a minority stance, like they don't have anybody on their side but themselves. It says declutter your life and just make things simple. Say I love you. Get back to a place of actually peace. Serenity, whomever you find that with, it's like somebody feels like it's easy to be with a particular person, but it's not going to be easy to go back to them. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Catch me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions. You can just come for the collective reading. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.